Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hello, and welcome to the Bounder BB Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I am lovely. I am great, fantastic, full of energy, and ready to start. Well, I want my audience to know that Rolling Stone magazine called you one of the 10 artists you need to know. Yes. You're an international rising star. You're heating up BH1's Love and Hip Hop Miami. Congratulations on all those accolades. Thank you so much. It is truly an honor for me to um, even have Rolling Stone even know of me. You know, I've put in so much work throughout all these years, and for them to consider me one of the 10 top artists to be on the lookout for truly means a lot to me. I know. Just to even get mentioned in there is a big deal. And yes. look at they, they, they gave you a title. So yeah. congratulations. Thanks. Look, you're coming back for BH1 series, uh, Love and Hip Hop Miami. You're coming back for season two. What are we going to see? You know, um, you're going to see a lot of drama. You're going to hear a lot of music. You're going to hear a lot of music. You're going to see a lot of drama. You're going to see betrayals, envy. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want to say fights, but a little bit of fighting. You're going to see a little bit of everything, you know? Okay. I'm going to take this Facebook post. Someone wants to know, what does it mean, Afro-Latino? They really don't know. Okay, well, I've said, I've said this many, many, many times, but Afro-Latino just means that I come from African descent, you know? My culture, everything else, I am Latina, but I come from African descent, so I am black. It's pretty there easy. There you go. There you go, poster. And I, I love the questions that people, you know, that gets them on the road to, you know, being straight. Right. Let me ask you, you've got a new album out. Tell me about that. I actually am going to be putting out an EP in January called Unstoppable. But my single, Understanding, will be out January 2nd, along with Love & Hip Hop Miami. Wednesday nights, uh, January 2nd, is going to be so amazing. It's going to be a day full of, of blessings. So, um, Unstoppable, you know, I'm working with amazing producers. I've, I recorded these songs in um, New York, L.A., Miami, Dominican Republic. I've gone Atlanta, everywhere. And I got the best of the best. And, you know, I put my heart into this project. Project, so I hope that people truly enjoy it. Is it American Republican? Is that your home? My home is Miami, but um, my second home also is the Dominican Republic. You know, I am Dominican, Dominicana. I'm very proud of it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you've got this, this, I'll call it a gig on, you know, love and hip hop in Miami. What's your goal? What's your goal by being on here? Because you're exposing your life. Right. Well, um, I don't know necessarily for others, but for me, I have always known that I wanted to use a platform to, um, you know, allow people to get to know me as a person. I, I, you know, I'm out of the human, the, the person behind all the glam, but um, also obviously to promote my music, my artistry, who, you know, what I do. And then last season, I was given the opportunity to also be vocal about uh, the Afro-Latino community, you know, with colorism and racial issues that we also suffer. So it, it was a, it, it's been an amazing opportunity. It's been a blessing. And this season, you know, it's a little different because this season I, I seem to be having some type of man issues. So it's not so much like the first season, but it's OK. I can handle it. Well, we see your mom because we saw I saw a little clip of your mom. She seems darling. Yes. Oh, my God. Hi, Mom. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> um, yes, my mom will be there. You know, my mom is my ride or die. Um, I couldn't see myself in this world without her. And wherever I go, she's there. So my mom will also be on the second season of Living Hip on Miami. Is it just you and your mom, or do you have a larger family that you'll be bringing into the camera's view? No, it's just me and my mom. You know, um, my mom immigrated to the Mexican border by herself to the United States, and she's pretty much everything that I know. Um, but, you know, God didn't bless me with a huge family, but she, he blessed me with an amazing mother, and that's all I need. But she seems to take up a big space. Yes. Okay, so you've got this opportunity. Where can it take you? 
you've already gone very far being mentioned in Rolling Stone, and, I, and I, that's no small feat. I want to be the cover. I want to be the cover. One day I will be the cover. You know, Ooh. sometimes we, we look at things like they're impossible or they're so far out, but it's really not. It's not about being uh, consistent. And I've been working since I was four years old. I started as a child star. And throughout, you know, the years, then I, I got my first big hit in the Dominican Republic, and I got big in the Latin market. I always dreamed of doing the crossover into the American market. Market, and it finally happened. And I know that for some people, they'll laugh at me. They'll think I'm crazy or whatever. I see myself doing movies in Hollywood. I see myself winning billboards. I see myself maybe one day even winning a Grammy. And nothing is impossible. It's just about the work that you put in. So I'm willing to do it. And, and that's why I'm here today. You got a children's book? I'm going to wrap up with that. Yes. You got a children's book? Yes, I have a children's book called Amarita's Way, available on Amazon.com as of right now. Next year, it will be available in uh, Barnes & Nobles all over the United States. Um, it has three amazing chapters, self-love, which is so important to me, uh, Mommy and Me, which is a relationship you should have with your mother, and Never Give Up, which talks about being goal-oriented and being ambitious in life. And I think representation is truly key, and you should start with the little ones. So that's why Amarita's Way is so important to me. Amara Lanegra, you are inspiring, energizing, <laughs> hopeful. You are just, you are, you are forced to be reckoned with in a very positive way. Amen. Thank you so much. Well, when you want us to watch you on Love and Hip Hop Miami? Well, let me tell you one more time. Pay attention, pay attention. You cannot <laughs> miss January 2nd. January 2nd on VH1 Love and Hip Hop Miami. We'll be back and now on Wednesday nights. Because of you, I'm going to be a watcher because you are worth watching. Thank you so much, Amara, for being on the Thank Belder Thank you so BB much. Show. I appreciate it. Thank you.